By now we all know that Google ranks faster websites higher and faster websites also have better conversion rates. But the reality is getting a 90 plus page speed score is really hard for WordPress users, especially when they're using Elementor. There are lots of page speed plugins on the market and it's become common for people to stack a few of them together for better results, but the results aren't gonna get you to 90 plus they might get you into the 60s or 80s. But I found this brand new plugin that blows all the others out of the water. I was skeptical at first, but I installed it and I tried it and the settings were super simple. And the demo site I tried it on is super fast now. This plugin is called Airlift. It was created by a company that's made other WordPress plugins that serve over 5 million WordPress sites. You've probably heard of them before. They make Malcare, they make Blog Vault, they make WP Remote, and now Airlift is their latest entry and I'm gonna show you in this video why I think Airlift is pretty awesome and why you should try the free version to see if it helps your website go faster. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Now let's get started. This is the site we're gonna be speeding up today. It's an e-commerce site, has some Elementor templates as well, but it's mostly WooCommerce and it's got some nice images. And this site is set up to sell macaroons. We don't actually sell them, so don't come and buy them. This is just a demo site. Let's test this page speed before we get started. So the performance is not great. I'm not sure why the blocking time is so high, to be honest. That's super high compared to what it normally is. But 41 for mobile is in the dumpster. And for desktop, 91 ain't bad. But on mobile, we're in the dumpster over here. And there's a lot of reasons why. And we're going to fix all these things by installing one plugin and not even configuring it. It's going to be wild. It's going to blow your mind. We're going to use the Airlift plugin. You can use the free version. They also have a paid version. The free version is going to help 99% of websites speed up. So you don't need the paid version unless you need extra support or you have some kind of niche function or niche features that you need. Let me click on get started now. Email address. I already have accounts with my other emails, so I gotta use a, a different one. So I can show you brand new what it looks like just with the airlift without Malcare or Blog Vault or the other stuff. Click on sign up once you've entered your details. They then send us an email with a verification code that we have to paste in here. There's my code. Click on submit. Now it says, hey, welcome to airlift, add a site. So let's add a site. Gonna get the URL of our website and paste it in here. Then click on continue. Here it shows to manually install the plugin. Click on download to download the plugin. It's gonna download it to my plugins folder on my website and then manually install it on the website that we wanna put it onto. So I'm gonna go to plugins inside the WordPress dashboard. Click on add new, click on upload plugin. You gotta click on this button here to choose a file from your hard drive or with fancy new browsers, you can drag and drop from your download area. Then click on install now, click on activate plugin. And when this is done, we can click on test plugin. Plugin connection successful, initiate sync. And now it's syncing all of our website data to the Airlift site so it can figure out how to optimize our website the best. And this plugin, although it's free, is not in the WordPress repository. You have to get it through the Airlift website. And I'm not sure why that is, but that's just how it is. And I trust Airlift because it's created by the same people who created WP Remote, Blog Vault, Malcare. They have over 5 million installs across all their brands. And I've worked with them for the, with the other services for many years. So I'm okay installing this on my site. Cross your T's and dot your I's before you install it, but I think it's okay. So initial performance metrics for the website are 60. That's a bit better than the 41 we had here, although maybe it's averaging 41 and 90. I'm not sure it's not breaking that out as mobile or desktop. But I'm gonna let this run. It says here it's gonna take about four and a half minutes to finish and I will pause this video. I'll be back when it's all done and we'll see what the results are. Here we have the results. This was a 60 earlier for the original, but it bumped up to a 64 during its processing, I suppose. And now we have an original 64 and an optimized of 100. And we can see in detail exactly what the score is by going to Lighthouse Report. And this shows what all our scores are, just like you see in Google Page Insights, only it's brought right into the Airlift dashboard to make it easier and more convenient. And this plugin nailed it. All we do is install it and hit go. We haven't set anything else. There are other settings you can look through over here. There aren't very many. 
And when you read them, they're going to make sense. So you will just read them and, and you'll understand what they're doing. And if not, just turn them on. See if it improves your page speed. If it doesn't, turn them off. Or if it breaks something, turn them off. But these settings, I didn't touch at all for this video. I just installed the plugin and let it do its thing. And on the optimization details tab, it shows the results of what it's done. It's reduced the page size. This is specifically the home page, I think, from 4.4 megabytes to 873 kilobytes, 80% reduction. The number of requests, which is the number of times the browser requests something from the hosting account, the fewer requests you have, the faster your site loads. It reduced those from 73 to 25. That doesn't mean it deleted requests, it just bunched them together is how that works. So your site loads all the same things. Airlift just makes the requests more efficient. Here it shows a list of our optimized pages. You can click on view more to see all the pages on your site that have been optimized. Airlift has resized the images, converted images to WebP where necessary, initiated image lazy loading, which means the images don't load until you scroll down the page and they're actually visible and need to be loaded. All the images are optimized and the size of the page itself has been reduced. This is specifically the home page. So I guess this 4.4 megabytes is the site overall. I'm not totally, not quite sure. But the 2.2 refers to, I think, the home page, the 2.2 megabytes here. Then we have all the CSS optimization that was done and JavaScript optimization, font optimization, other optimizations. Web Vital Improvements, here it shows on the left side the original. So for first Contentful Paint, we had 51. Now we have 99. Largest Contentful Paint, we had 8. Now we have 100. Cumulative Layout Shift, we had 100 to start with. Now we have 100 again. For Speed Index, we had 25 at the start. Now we have 100. For a Total Blocking Time, we had 98. Now we have 100. And I got to say, it doesn't get a whole lot easier than installing the Airlift plugin and running this on your site. And for 99% of WordPress sites, the free version will do everything you need. There is a paid version as well. If you need more support or you have specific niche needs, you can get more information about it at airlift.net. You can find a link to that in the description down below or just type it into your address bar and you get more details on the paid version. But the free version that we used in this video does pretty much everything you need. So if you want to speed up your website without too much work, I encourage you to check out this plugin. Now that your website's super fast after installing Airlift, check out this playlist right here that's going to help you secure your WordPress website. You need a fast site, but you also need a secure one. So check out that playlist to help you do that. It's right up there. Go ahead, check it out.